Hi, I am Dr. Cenk Shen, Professor of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Today I'll try to explain you in brief what we do in body shaping surgeries. Normally for body shaping, we have different surgical weapons in our hands, the techniques that we use routinely. One of them is liposuction. The other is tummy tuck or abdominoplasty, arm lift surgery, thigh lift surgery, and in some patients, the breast lift surgery. Usually we divide them into two or three sessions if patient needs all of of them. And let me try to summarize you each of those surgeries. For liposuction, as you may all know, that we use some different techniques. A vaser liposuction, ultrasonic liposuction, laser liposuction, power assisted liposuction. All of them are more or less similar to each other. They use different techniques, different devices. And the most important thing is to get the good result from each of these techniques. We use some combination of those techniques. We use some small incisions and in, we introduce the cannula. We remove the required amount of fat from this area to shape your body, your waist, your abdominal area, your legs, uh, waist, all of them. In some patients we use liposuction for breast reduction but in again I have to say in limited selected patients we use this technique. And after liposuction you have to use a kind of compressive garment to shape your body. Usually uh, the bruises are very less in recent years because we use the tumescent technique. We uh, infiltrate some kind of fluid before the liposuction so it reduces the blood loss, reduces the risks of surgery and reduces the bruises. You will feel some kind of swelling early after the surgery but at the end of few months uh, more or less after all those swellings are gone you get the final shape and it's a very useful tool in our hands that we shape the body. The other techniques that the abdominoplasty or tummy tuck surgery is done in patients fat collection or sagging of the skin. If the patient has sagging skin then liposuction will not be enough. So you don't need to be a doctor to understand this. If we remove the fat under the tissue that has a sagging skin, then the sagging will increase more. If it's just in the borderline, sometimes we use a very recent technique, what we call J-plasma. It uses a radio frequency energy. And after the liposuction, we, with the, again a specific cannula, we apply the radio frequency energy to increase the contractility of the skin to get adoption of the skin to the new condition much better. And and uh, if the sagging is too much, then we have to excise the skin together with removal of the fat. So uh, this surgery, you will end up with a incision just in the lower abdominal area, an incision around the belly button or umbilicus. Sometimes we use mini tummy tuck, mini abdominoplasty, in which we do not touch the belly button area. As I told you, body shaping is a complex surgery. The abdominoplasty cases, we usually combine liposuction to this. We do the the liposuction to the waist, back if required to the uh, inner thigh, other parts to give a complete good recovery of the patient. The other surgical techniques that we use for body shaping is the uh, arm lift. Again, the similar effect is valid for this. Let's say if the sagging is too much, there's too much skin, then we have to make a cut just in the inner part of the arm to remove the skin together with the fat. If not, then we only use liposuction with J-plasma or only liposuction to give again a better uh, shape of this area. The other option is the thigh lift surgery, which we try to correct the deformities of the inner thigh area. If the patient is especially lost great amount of weight in recent years. There may be some gain the loose skin, great amount of sagging. So what we do, we have to excise the skin together with the fat and the patients end up with the incision line scar just in the inguinal fold or just the one that comes down to the knee area or the mid thigh area, a vertical scar, which usually heals very well. And also in that kind of patients who has lost great amount amount of weights in the recent years. Uh, we also see some problems in the breast area, breast sagging, loss of volume in the breast and the sagging of the skin, uh, breast tissue. 
and in those cases we mainly use breast augmentation together with the breast lift surgery but if the amount of volume I mean the breast volume is enough then only lift may be enough for that kind of patients in brief uh, I can tell you that we can use different surgical options to shape the body those are the things that I mentioned you unfortunately we cannot do all those surgeries in one session because they're all each of them are long surgeries and usually we divide them into two or three sessions but if the deformities are not too much or just we have to touch one or two points of the body we can do in them in the same session post-operative follow-up period of those patients I mean those kinds of surgeries are usually we hospitalize them for one or two nights most of those patients again were for the breast or uh, arm lift or the thigh lift surgeries we place the drains and usually we remove those drains within two days if everything is okay if the drainage is not too much then uh, all the stitches are inside uh, then depending on uh, the combination of those surgeries normally we let you live your daily life let's say a week after surgery but during that time you have to be very careful about the things that you shouldn't force any part of your body not to injure the uh, internal stitches. Uh, I do not recommend personally no sports for one month after surgery and no heavy exercise three months after the surgery. And all the stitches are inside. Let me try to explain you some about the scars. The scars will look a little red and hard in the early days. It softens, fades day by day gradually and you'll get the final scar quality at the end of one year. Usually in all of those surgeries, I mean, especially for the tummy tuck and breast surgeries. The scars are very tiny. In some patients, it's almost invisible, but I can tell that the arm lift and tie lift incisions are a little more visible compared to the other parts of the body, but they're also, again, not too bad. But do not forget, the scar quality depends on the patient's own wound healing characteristics. All patients heal differently, but statistically, all the healing process, those kind of surgeries scar is almost very well very good heals with a very tiny fine scar